Hello there, and welcome to another starter video. So as the title suggests, it's that time of the month again. No, not, not that time. The, the the other one, the ship competition strain build. Uh, it's it's a mouthful. I've i we've like what like four four or five months going, and I still the just the the name is a bit. It was it's, it's a work in progress. Anyway, so this is your first time seeing this video, which probably not because yeah, um, you're probably one of my subscribers, but we're going to be doing a competition style thing where I give you guys a requirement for a ship and then you guys have a week to put together a design and then you'll submit that design to me. And then at the end of the week, we will do a live stream <clears throat> and that live stream will consist of some judges, uh, looking at the ship and then basically the, uh, the ones with the most score will win. So we'll 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 do it a little bit different this time around. Um, I'm not really sure on the on the kind of the the how we're gonna do the scoring system as we get closer. I will let you know. But we have our um, our requirements. So this is a pretty cool one. Um, so um, let me really show you. So the whole premise behind this one is to make an experimental jump ship. So a ship that was designed with uh the intention to basically navigate the 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 kind of the, the the not the war but navigate the the jumping system for the first time so like think like you know it's back obviously it if it if it was back then you wouldn't have all these different manufacturers but it's up to you to determine you know like any of the manufacturers can you know exist and yeah so it's supposed to be like an experimental ship where you're first testing the jump drives and seeing kind of how they would function. So it's the only real requirements is that it has to be an A-class vessel and it has to make use of a 3 by one engineering hab. Now, it's supposed to look exotic slash fancy in terms of it being like an experimental tech. You know, like it's when you look at it, you should be able like that's not a normal ship. And <clears throat> excuse me. And that's pretty much it. Uh, as always, uh, no mods are going to be allowed because everything is vanilla and also no console commands to make your ship bigger. So if you play with console commands or mods, please, please, please make a save file that is completely vanilla. Just because I don't want to have to spend like, say, an hour building your ship only to realize you have a mod that makes this piece better or so on and so forth. So yeah, so here's a little design I whipped up. Um, so this is, I went with Nova Galactic because Nova Galactic is kind of, you know, it's the main thing. So this, the whole, like I said, the whole premise is it needs to, it needs to have a, that three by one engineering bay, which it does at the bottom. And then obviously that's pretty much it, you know, like it has to look flashy with this one. I kind of, like I said, I went with Nova Galactic and the whole like skit or the, this, the, the, the skit, the whole kind of like the shtick behind this one is because it's a completely new design and like it's you know the grav drives are something completely um it's something like completely new it's set up in a way so that if something bad was to happen the grav drive can be detached and like basically teleported away to try and save the crew now obviously whether or not that works we'll uh we'll never know but yeah so this is like i said this is just an idea it's something i kind of just put together a little bit um Obviously, you, your thing has to look nothing like this because that's, you know, if, if it did look like my ship, I'd be like, what the hell are you trying to win brownie points? Because, yeah. So that's, that's pretty much it. Like I said, um, just has to be A-class and has to have uh, an engineering bay. Now, obviously, if you have other bays, it makes it, you know, more, or, you know, science-y and stuff because it is a science vessel. It's meant to be like, you know, like you're testing a uh, grav drive for the first time. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, you have until next Wednesday, so this will go up the twenty second, and then you'll have seven days after that to get your entries in. So to get your entries in, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, DM me set entries. Now the format, if you're if you're new here, I'll explain the format of how it's the ship is supposed to kind of you know how you're supposed to do it. So basically, I prefer pictures. 
If your build is very complex, I don't mind a video, but please make the video as short as it can be because I would not, I'd rather not have to spend like several hours watching a video to build a ship. Like I, like I said, I can, I can do most uh, like merge techniques and stuff. Unless you're Nomad, then yeah, send me a video, please. Because I'm not that good. Um, so this is kind of how uh, the layout is to look. I like... And I, I like if, if you're familiar with the channel, you'll know it before. But basically, I like it. Cut the ship into layers. So you have your top layer here. You have your middle layer. And you have your bottom layer. And then, like, give me, like, a screenshot of, like, the layers and stuff. Now, obviously, with merging, if there is merging, uh, highlight the mergings. So in this situation, you see how I have these here. If you were to, like, do something like this, see how I'm doing it, just to kind of highlight that, okay, these pieces merge inside there. Now, letting me know these pieces merge inside there would be very helpful. And then, same over here, like, if you want to showcase, like, oh, this piece merges there. You know, just just basically make it as simple for me to understand, because I can be a bit, a bit slow. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, um... A class include a an engineering bay three by one is the kind of the the kind of the the central hab doesn't have to be central but you know what I mean like it has to, it's critical to the build and obviously extra habs for the lore behind it would make a lot of sense too and then yeah like I was saying just split in sections like screenshot bang there's your top section screenshot bang maybe because this is so big do two screenshots one in the back. And then a screenshot of this is supposed to be in here. And then on the bottom level, screenshot, bang, and be like, these pieces are supposed to sit in here. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, uh, whole, um, I look forward to this. Um, and like I said with the, I say like I said a lot, one more time for the, for the memes, like I said. Um, as we get close to the time, uh, I will let you guys know on how it's going to be judged. Because it's it's going to be a little bit different this time. We're going to try new things. But anyway, like I said, that doesn't really matter for the moment. All that matters is that if you're entering a ship, uh, get building. And uh, yeah, send them directly to me. DM them directly to me on Discord. If you're not in the Discord, uh, there's a link in my bio on YouTube. It's called Starfields Anonymous join up and then once you join up uh, we do have a ship submission section do not submit it through there go and try and find my name i'll normally be like i'll have posted somewhere recently if not just search for me in the discord it's crimson flyboy and then just basically send me a dm and be like start the dm with hey this is my entry and then the pictures and then i'll usually get back to you and let you know like i'll be like okay that looks cool i'll get building and then if I have any issue, I will let you know. And if not, I'll like message you and let you know. I'll be like, ship's ready for the stream. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So as always, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing all your designs and uh, getting to some fun streaming. Catch you guys on the flip side.